But yeah, I don't know, man. I, it's, it's a long time. 20 years is, is a long ass time, but when you're just, kinda, you know, like life, when you're just kind of, you know, living your everyday life and um, it goes by quick. Yeah, when you cross that, cross that threshold and step into the, you know, the hip hop sanctuary, you have those nights when everything just comes together. The B-Boys are in attendance and a bunch of MCs show up for the cypher. And when all the elements are there, and it, it just, I don't know, those are the best nights, you know. Wicked Wednesday, it has its ups and downs, right? It's a, it's a Wednesday night in Portland. Um, when all the elements are in there and it's, you know, everything has just kind of come together, those are the best nights for me. Yo, what's up, Wicked Wednesdays? <laughs> With Wicked Wednesdays, I've always kind of had a standard. You know, it's a very authentic event. Turntable, records, you know, vinyl, mixer, hands on the vinyl, and just, you know, doing it, doing it live for the people. With B-boys and B-girls and, and, and hip hop and, and good music and good vibes and good energy. This is not uh, a hobby. You know, it's not even a job, it's like a lifestyle. It's an extension of who we are. It's hip hop. A lot of people try to imitate that real hip hop flavor or the essence of it. I mean, people try all day. Wicked's always kept it 100% throughout this whole time. It's kept that, that, that vibe flowing. It, it's interesting to see, because you know, you have generations that have gone to his event, gotten older, grown up, and then now there's a whole new generation that are coming and appreciating it, you know what I mean? He doesn't have a selfish agenda for doing it. His agenda for doing it is, in my opinion, uh, to grow the hip hop culture in Portland, and he's done that. Bringing the dope music, and not only the dope music, but a place for all of us to meet up, congregate, and practice our craft. But yeah, it's our it's our little hip hop sanctuary, you know, and, and 20 years later, you know, who would have known that it would endure, you know, two decades, especially in a in a city like Portland.